Yo, what is good everyone? It is Zigzag here and welcome to the Vulcan Adventure vlog series. I have no idea what form this is gonna take, but you're gonna see some of our time in the Balkans. Let me introduce you to the main characters. Oh, you know, you know who he is. You've seen me before, hopefully. And Francesca. Hello. <laughs> that is my sister. Okay, I thought I'd start the vlog because we just got to Croatia and now we're having the most depressing dinner, perhaps of all time. So we have lemon, grass, and lime <laughs> soft drink, which we don't know how it tastes, but it was left inside the fridge. So thank you, B and B owner. And then the Australian portion of the meal is the shapes and Tim Tams. There is nothing else open in this town. Nope. Let's get a first reaction of the uh, barbecue shapes. This is quite an Australian classic. Okay. And uh, I'll tell you what I think of the drink. Who's just trying the drink? Mm, that's rather nice, actually. It's like lemonade. Oh, they're nice. Yeah. A classic Australian snack. You could find similar stuff in Germany, I think. Of course. And so begins the Balkan adventure, finally. This is a crazy huge roundabout that we're on in, uh, in Bosnia. Yeah, welcome to Bosnia, Lenly. We're meta hunting. I went to a country to discover GeoGuessr meta. No. <laughs> we're on the road to Banja Luka. Firstly, we're on the tollway and we don't have any money. So there's that. Okay. So we got some new matters for you guys. We got the B-type guide rail, that's expected. We have like the Montenegrin style bollards. We have Italian there, that's an Italian bollard. And then we also have like Croatian slash Hungarian style something. So we got three different bollards just in a row consistently being used here. That's and it's kind of unexpected, no? That is quite insane to be honest. Especially the Italian bollard, I was not expecting like yeah, I actually had no idea that existed yet. Maybe some cool bait locations are potentially possible here. All right, we'll tell you how it goes with the uh, with the toll once we figure it out. Okay, what's up? We are what's in up? Banja Luka, which is in Bosnia. And Len, tell us how it went with the toll road. The exception card was easy. But yeah, now that we're in Banja Luka, Ser uh, Bosnia, I almost say Serbia because there's so many Serbian flags here. It's actually crazy. Honestly, I've seen like 10 times more Serbian flags than Bosnian flags here. I think they're fed up with Bosnia, to be honest. I think they want to go back. <laughs> it really does seem that way. It's honestly quite strange. Hello, Lenly. Hello. We're in the lovely mountains of Bosnia. We saw there was some, uh, what was it? Canyon thing. Canyon. We came up here. We're not going to go to the canyon, but we found some fruit. It's a Mirabella. At least in German. I in German. The English word. So, taste test. Oscar taste test. I already tried it. It's mm. it? Oh. It's, a it's a plum, I think, yeah. A kind of plum. That's yeah, really tasty. It just tastes like a plum. Just before we get into the rest of the vlog, I would like to thank today's sponsor, which is Manta Sleep. Now, on one particular occasion on this Balkan trip that I just went on, I was in an Airbnb, it had a really great host. Honestly, the house was really nice as well. However, the moment I tried to go to sleep, I realized the man upstairs was actually snoring. Now, as for me, I thought it was gonna cause real problems for my night's sleep. However, I then realized I had my Manta Sleep sound mask in the next room, and true story, I went and got it, hooked it up to Bluetooth, and put some rain noise in the adjustable earphones here, and I fell asleep very quickly. So yeah, at that point, I was very pleased to have worked with Manta Sleep. It's truly a product I actually use. It's comfortable. And best of all, these eye cups completely block any light, even in broad day. So it makes napping and sleeping in inconvenient places a lot easier. And since I was in Europe, Manta also sent me this weighted sleep mask. I've used this most nights this week, and it's honestly given me some really good night's sleep. And it's got a really tight Velcro, so you can adjust where these super comfortable eye cups go and give yourself the best experience with the mask. Well, if you're interested in picking up a Manta Sleep mask, the link in the pinned comment and and the top of the description both lead you straight there. And in addition to that, when you use the code ZIGZAG as it appears on the screen right now, you'll get 10% off. So thank you very much to Manta Sleep for sponsoring this video and let's get right into the rest of the vlog. Okay, good morning from Travnik. This is where we stayed last night in the bottom floor of this house. There's Francesca. Look at the mountains here. We're gonna go exploring a bit. This is where we're staying. Very nice here. Even the clouds are covering the tallest mountains, but uh, hopefully they'll clear up. <laughs> Just gone from our hotel and we are now on the top of Stari Grad Castle in Travnik, Bosnia. Len, what do you think about this place? I uh, didn't wear the Bosnian colors without reason today. I think it's a very beautiful place. Glad to be here. This is amazing. You should come here if you're considering going to the Balkans. You should come to Travnik and you should see this castle. Look at those mountains. It's one of my favorite castles I've ever been to for sure. Oh, 
hostel. Hello, welcome to Sarayu. We got the true Bosnian drink that I've never seen before, Fanta Sokata. No, 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 Fanta Bosnia flavor. Fanta Bosnia, yeah. We've been wanting to do this for a long time. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this around and we were like, wow, if this is not gonna be the most amazing thing we've ever tasted. All right, can you taste this first? <laughs> Literally no idea what it is, but it's good. It's good. It smells good. Tastes kind of like citrusy and... But it's um, Citrusy. Nice. Mm. <laughs> Bosnia flavor. Bosnia. Zigzag in Bosnia. Tastes like Mother Bosnia. <laughs> no, it kind of tastes like grapefruit or something. What's your rating? Good 8 out of 10. It tastes like grapefruit. I think I go with the 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10. It's good. <laughs> Good morning from Sarajevo. We're at the hostel on the terrace and we have the food reveal. Let's check out what we got. So Len, take us through this morning's breakfast. Let's go. Burak with meat. Burak with meat? Okay. Burak with potatoes. Burak with potatoes, okay. Burak with pumpkin. Pumpkin burak, and it's Potential even bigger. Is it's actually kind of bigger as well. Why? And cheese burak. And cheese, well cheese kind of, sorry, yeah, cheese burek. something. Cheese pastry. Cheese something. The orange juice. Oh, okay. Jake. The bananas from Ecuador. Oh yeah. Life's good. Let's dig in. Life's good. <laughs> So we're currently driving up towards the uh, abandoned bobsled, what's it called? Track. Track. And we've been on this road. Trust me, this is like the easy part. It's been the most insane road I've ever driven in my life, I think. Len's been doing a great job, <laughs> but it, like if any other car came, we probably just would cry and give up. Like it's, the road is that tight. It's not a one way. That's Bro, it's red. The other way. Let's go. Oh, it's a red road. Bro, I'm, I'm remembering that. If I ever get this on 5 Kings, bro, there's no chance I don't. And what with the radar? What's up, bro? What's up? <laughs> From Ottawa. Interesting experience. We'll uh, check back in with you at the top. Yo, what's up, vlog squad? We're at the top of the bobsled track for the 1984, we think. Maybe. We don't, we don't have internet. We don't have internet. Sarajevo and the, you know, Yugoslavian Olympics. Winter Olympics. Winter Olympics. It can't be 84 then, can it? I don't know. Because 88 was uh, you can do the Seoul. Okay, well, it's some other year. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty cool here. It's all abandoned. It's in a state of disrepair. There's a few people here, not many. The drive up was insane. Yeah. This is where you would have sat as a spectator. You would have sat there. And I think this is where we would have like done the like kind of run up. Oh, there's also like a, a ski lift here. Uh, there you can see, but instead we drove, and uh, yeah, this is where you start off. Kind of cool. He thought the view was pretty, but really, he was the pretty one. Bro, this landscape is Bosnia, bro. Bosnia might be goaded. Look at this. Um, what the Sigma? What is going on? How did it get better? Is this real life? No, nah, this is insane. What's up, guys? We're chilling on a bridge, not the famous one, in Mostar, Bosnia. This town's really nice. It's very touristy, but it is very nice. And. You have to say, culturally so different to the north of Bosnia. And also landscape-wise. Landscape-wise and culture-wise feels very distinct. Yeah. Different food, different flags being flown, different climate, that's for sure. You can see how dry the mountains are. They were not anything like that in the last places we visited. But yeah, pretty cool spot. Lots of nice old architecture, the mosques. Double oh. white lines. Double white lines in the south. Line we have been meta hunting so far. Yeah. So like, I think we've actually got some stuff here. So we'll, we'll, we'll try and pass that on once Bosnia comes out. But uh, yeah, for now, from Mostar, peace. We roll up to your store, we buy five blue Fantas. Bosnia flavor. 
Yeah. We became addicted, guys. <laughs> we became addicted, that's basically it, yeah. There's more blue phantoms on the way. Oh my gosh, bro, oh, we're on the edge God. right now. It is not secure. <laughs> no, this is uh, not quite safe. But welcome to Bosnia. Welcome to Bosnia. I am from Bosnia. Take me to America. We're on our way out of Mostar. We're on the way to Kravnica National Park where the waterfalls are. And uh, this is a construction site, which I thought was kind of funny because of how unsafe it was. And now into Montenegro. Montenegro. Would you look at that? We are headed down to the Bay of Couture. Welcome to Montenegro. It is looking quite beautiful today. We had tons of rain in the morning, so we just decided to go straight onto Monty. And uh, yeah, this is pretty spectacular. Shouts to Rowan from the World Cup. He told us we can't miss this. So far, I'm agreeing. Nah, this place is insane. Rowan, it's so much nicer in real life. The camera doesn't even do it justice. I mean, I'm gonna appreciate this in real life now, but uh, Bay of Kotor, you're beautiful. What's up, Bay of Kotor gang? Bay of Kotor gang. How we going? And we are on a hike right now, and we are gonna be walking up these stairs looking over the bay here so we don't know if we're gonna make it all the way up but uh here we are and uh that is where we're going so you'll see us if we if we do go up there first impression of Kotor Oscar first impression Len is that uh, I like it very much I think it is living up to the hype and then some so let's see what it looks like from up there we already got a view from the highway but that wasn't even as high as up there I think so should be fun okay so that is the old town wall and we are going up these stairs here. Yo, what's up everyone? Yeah, so we just went to the fortress, which you cannot see anymore because it's too dark. And I was a scaredy cat. I didn't climb up the ladder because there was kind of a fall underneath there and I suck at climbing. But you can see Len and Cheska doing it in the previous video. But we also have the view down there, which is also super beautiful, even at this time of day. You can see the cruise ship out on the bay. Oh yeah. And uh, now we're gonna find some pizza because that's what Francesca wants to eat. And I'll probably check in with you tomorrow when we head off to Albania. Till then, goodbye. We want to try the wonders of the prickly pear. We've got one of the fruits here, and Len has a credit card. Okay. It's not a credit card. What kind of card is it? I don't know, it's not used Library anymore. Card. So. This one's definitely not used anymore. We can okay. try this. Here we go. Oh, okay. wow. Nice. Wow, okay. Oh, it's juicy. Wow. Holy shit, that actually looks sick. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna do the taste test. I'm just yeah. gonna go in, grab a little bit of the middle. Thoughts? It doesn't taste like that much, and it's just seeds, so but yeah, the taste itself is not bad. Always gotta die for the block. That's tradition. Mm. If any Aussies are watching, it tastes like a sour sob. You wanna try it, Jessica? <laughs> After the sour sob comment, not so much. No, it doesn't taste bad. Maybe it's just I like just a sour sob. Welcome to the probably fourth or fifth Burek breakfast while we've been here. In a row. <laughs> In a Every row. breakfast has been better. <laughs> yeah, so this is the view for breakfast today. Not bad, apart from the cars, but you know. Every day we get Burek and something else. Yeah, yeah, and we try the local stuff. This is an interesting one. What does it taste like in there? We've got some interesting, like, pate. I mean, this is, this is pretty good. I don't know what it is. Right. Probably, like, tomato or something. Yeah, comments can tell us. Guys, 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 guys. That was bussin'. When you see the bag looks like this, when you see this much grease, you know they did a good job, man. Apart from like specialty Baroque places we went to in a couple in uh, Bosnia, this was the best. Shout outs to Montenegro and um, Borek. And, and the meat Borek, man. Sorry. Sorry to the veggies, but uh, that one was uh, one of the one of the best things I've had in a while. I agree. Good one. <clears throat> Peace.
Toronto. I mean, driving in Toronto is something else, bro. And we struggled to stop in front of our hotel, so yeah. Yo, what's up? We are at the top of the Pyramid of Toronto. The Pyramid of Toronto, or something like that. And uh, behind us is Toronto. We uh, met up with a pro player cut here, and now we are exploring the city after dark. Very beautiful. Very great food, and uh, yeah, any other words about Toronto? Nope. <laughs> the traffic is insane. All right, we'll show you some more in the morning. Good morning, Toronto. We are finding some burek. So yeah, we uh, got our burek, as well as some other interesting Albanian stuff. We got the cornbread here, zucchini cornbread. Pretty good, honestly. We're sitting in the park right now, but we accidentally ordered a lot of baklava here. We ordered three. We thought it would be like three half ones. Yeah, this was three portions, bro. <laughs> it's full to the brim, this Tons box. Of baklava. First baklava reaction Lens first the bite. Trip. Let's see. Mmm. These are sweet, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see that. Cross Pretty section. Good. Okay, pistachio. Yeah, I think it does. Thoughts? Mm -hmm. Apart from that, it's very sweet. I mean, pretty good. Nice. It's too much for me, maybe. We got okay. Oscar's baklava reaction as well. Here we go. Breaking this one in half. Look at that. Look at the pool. <laughs> Mythical. That is a lot of layers, bro. This is gonna be good. Mythical baklava. That's Boston. That's really nice. And so if you've never been to Albania, you probably don't know that uh, on the road here, if you want to stop, even on an extremely busy road, you can just turn on your hazard lights and uh, drop off whoever you need to drop off, pick up whoever you need to pick up. Yeah, you can just leave the car with hazard lights in the middle of the, of the three lane road. It's it, is pretty, it is pretty insane, but everyone here is kind of used to it. So I don't know, it's kind of funny when, when you see it happen. But uh, that would definitely take some use, getting used to if you drive here. Len, tell them what happened on this street yesterday. This street, we drove through with an SUV yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't really... We, we were trying to find a park. Go. Yeah. All right, we got a hazard lights here. Just chilling. Oh, everyone's got hazard lights on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's how it works in uh, Tirana. I was not lying, as you guys can see. This intersection is crazy. People are just turning right. Yeah, yeah. The craziness has kind of stopped. No, somewhere. no, no, we're, we're going on now and this guy's just gonna, just gonna turn. Yep. yep. <laughs> from the right, from the left. That guy's just going in, okay. This guy comes around too. So does this guy, for good measure. Yeah, and will this guy turn right before we can? Yep. Will we ever get through this intersection? Oh, oh. Potentially. Oh. And we go. Yeah, we go. And we go. Okay, maybe because we were filming, they let us through. <laughs> okay, we just found the B and B host who's on an e-scooter, and he's showing us where the apartment is. This is awesome. This is actually like a video game where you have to follow a character through the town to get to the next level or something. So <laughs> Skoda, we are at Skoda. So the guy helped us park, and we got our house, and uh, he's got the keys to the car. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, this is Skoda. There's the fortress, we'll visit the fortress soon on the way home. Oh, but onwards and upwards, let's go. Look Albanian, at my hair. Albanian music check. We are in Albania and we got the next taste test. New country, new Fanta. Green Fanta. Exotic, will, I've tried this, these two haven't. Will Green Fanta live up to the Blue Fanta hype? Blue Fanta went crazy <laughs> in Bosnia. Oh. Good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Slightly worse than Blue Phantom, not really. Okay. It's less sophisticated, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. It's good as. Very good first taste. Very refreshing. <laughs> it tastes like Pasito. It is yeah. lovely job. And so we have the greatest parking job of all time here. Well, if anyone wants to get through here, I guess they'll have to wait for the morning. So we're just finishing up our time in Škoda. It's been a really nice town. Honestly, it's a little bit less fancy than Tirana for sure. But yeah, this is our last day in Albania. We just went to one of the large churches downtown. Albania is kind of interesting because it's a, got a large, I think, I think it's a large Christian minority with a Muslim majority. 
majority. But uh, when I was talking to Kurt, he was saying that uh, really it's more of a secular country and the reason it's so harmonious religiously is because people identify more as Albanian. So I found that kind of interesting, but uh, also kind of interesting that religion was banned for 50 years, well, as far as I know. So also kind of interesting, but uh, yeah. Now we head on back to Montenegro to Dermato National Park. So we'll probably pick up with you there. Well, we got our car back. How excellent. And they have a Vauxhall here, which is a left-hand drive car in Albania, very cool. Okay, right now we just left our spot in Albania and then we realized we had to return the key. We, we forgot that we had the key on us, so we came back and then I hopped out in the traffic to come get the key and now we lost each other, but we found each other after a comedy of errors and here comes Mr. Lenley, who's probably done with driving in this country. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Len. Hello. Yeah, this is the uh, Albanian energy drink, which we've been recommended. So let's see how it compares to those from around the world. Here we go, Golden Eagle, first try. Smells like Red Bull. Let's see if it tastes the same. Yep, Golden Eagle is a Red Bull replacement. I think it would be fair to say. Cheaper, so nice. And uh, yeah, tastes rather good. So gets my ticket of approval. I like it. Yes, Montenegro is beautiful. But so is Lynn. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. What's good? What's goody? We're in Jabaljak in Montenegro, up in the mountains, high altitude. We're about to go on a hike, so I'll show you that. But here's the apartment. Oh, uh, it's very cheap. I think we uh, pay, split between the three of us, we're paying uh, like 37 euro for this, so pretty cheap to stay a night here. And uh, quite a modern bathroom. I think it was like quite nice through here. Yeah, like, Brand new boiler, very European. Uh, but yeah, nice amenities here. Hello. We're waiting on the lock. I I've had this problem in Eastern Europe before where I just cannot operate locks. Well, apparently Len can't either, so we're having to call him in to help us lock it before we leave on our hike. But uh, yeah, that's that's the digs here. Small, but very nice and, and very economical to travel in Montenegro. So I'll catch you on the hike. Yo, we are up in the mountains now. Black Lake. Look how picturesque this place is. Nice. Here we are at the second lake. This one I think is more beautiful than the first. I disagree. Really? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Len always has opinions. Okay, we went up some very steep stairs, the Tito stairs, and uh, we're lost now. We lost the path up here, so we're trying to find it again. Surely it'll be okay, guys. We'll have you to say, Lindley. Yeah, yeah, that's all, all good, all good. Okay, Fear of Heights episode two. We made it back to the path. We realized it's a one way. And we have to go down this, and you guys cannot tell. Well, it's very steep. Yeah, he's standing on the ledge there. Down there is the second lake, so <sighs> we'll see how I go. Guys, we found another path. Live, love, and love. Bro, I'm adding Tom Davies right now. That is a straight line mission field if I've ever seen one. Kind of beautiful to be fair. Not as beautiful as Oscar. <laughs> Stop this man's riz. <laughs> 13, 14, 15, 16. What do you guys call a 16 sided shape? Anyway, we, we found these like dodecahedranal poles and I thought they were only in the Southwest, but unfortunately up here in the Northwest, we found them as well, so. Maybe hexagonal? Hexagonal could be correct, yeah. Hexagonal? Check out those mountains. Uh, yeah, so there we go. It's it's not a real meta, but I'm trying, guys. Code. I have to tax right off this trip somehow. <laughs> we need one good meta at least. <laughs> Len is playing Platform Racing 2. Did you guys ever play this game? Let me know if I unlocked a memory for you. You got the sword. Go, Len, go. What do you think of this game? Fucking sick. <laughs> Bro, it has kind of the shape of Optimus Prime on the side. That's what it looks like. It was also my first time driving in a right-hand drive country. Some days, you can see Italy from here. Wait, I know the 5k. 